ลับเข้าสู่การถ่ายทอดสดนะครับศึกมวยไทยระดับโลก And we are back with our next fight of the m o n o 29 Top King World Series And that will be between Zhang Guang Z versus r u s l a n a t e v out of Uzbekistan This is the last fight in the tournament So remember right, okay, the tournament Whoever wins this is the final fight in the 8-man tournament The final fight in the s e m i f i n a l Both of these fighters are actually uh, substitutes, substitutes yes. uh, But they're strong substitutes mm -hmm. And, uh, the, 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 the past fighters were not able to attend. But uh, we have uh, Ruslan from Uzbekistan and Zhang Zhi from China. After, uh, this, after this fight, then we'll have another super fight. Another super fight. What did you think of the, the knockout before? Oh, I think, I think that had to be the highlight of the evening. You know, and, uh, the, crowd, the crowd definitely like that. You yeah. can see the crowd still cheering. Getting a lot of uh, well, money's worth yeah, yeah. We woke up the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> and only on m o n o 29 Top King World Series. Indeed. So now as we get ready to introduce the fighters for the next fight here, let's uh, take a quick recap of who is went in today. We had uh, 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 the first fight. We had Rumi yeah. maintaining his belt mm -hmm. and his uh, 3.5 kilogram mm -hmm. belt. The first fight of the tournament, uh, RB uh, uh, from Russia, yep. oh. beating, beating the Chinese fighter. Uh, the second fight, the second tournament fight was uh, two Thai fighters, Yod yep. Wishaw winning, and the last fight was Yod Kumpot beating Kevin uh, Renehi from France. So this will be the last fight in the super fight. Yep. So now we have our blue corner fighter coming out. Uh, Ruslan Ateev out of Uzbekistan, the maniac. The maniac. The maniac. Uh, that's oh, a yeah. scary nickname. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, born, uh, he's, a, he's 28 years old, uh, 180 centimeters tall, uh, with a record of 31 fights, 26 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. Uh, Ruslan is a Muay Thai fighter uh, out of Uzbekistan who's training at Sidyat Tong in Thailand. Oh, okay. uh, he's a heavy puncher. Uh, he's, no, he's, not, he's fought and knocked out many uh, mid-level Muay, uh, Muay Thai fighters in Thailand. He's fought uh, both pro and, uh, many pro and amateur, amateur fights. He's quite experienced in Europe and Asia, so he's, uh, he's, fought, a, he's fought for a while. He's 28, so he's been fighting for a while. He's a heavy hitter. Yes, heavy hitter. Yes. Heavy hitter. Uh, also, he's, uh, he, uh, he, did, he beat a Spanish fighter. He's replacing a Spanish fighter who dropped out. I talked, to, I talked about that before. He's a heavy hitter, likes to punch and likes to brawl. Let's see, let's see if he's going to be doing any brawl with the Chinese fighter. Oh, this is a big part of the Chinese fighter. Which is now the most important part of the Chinese fighter. He has been a champion for a lot of years. I'm trying to think of how many fighters I can think of from my list. There's a couple. There's a couple I remember. I, just, uh, I can't think of their names off the top of my head, but I, I know it's oddly, oddly enough, there's, there's, there's Muay Thai, several Muay Thai fighters in Uzbekistan. Worldwide, though. Yeah, yeah. But Uzbekistan in that area is also no, no deep punchers. Mm. So uh, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, all the heavy punchers, Russia. You know. Definitely. And now in the red corner, making his way into the ring, out of China. He goes by the name Zhang Guangji, and he is a Chinese Muay Thai fighter who, who actually fights a lot of fights in China. Uh, and he's 21 years old, only he's very young. He's very tall, actually, 178 centimeters and 70 kilos. He's only fought 24 fights, but he's won 19 of those and lost five. And uh, he's a young fighter, like I said, he's building experience. He's uh, trying to become a top Chinese fighter someday. And he actually lost to uh, Sergio Manzetti from Peru, but uh, Sergio unfortunately had to drop out. So he's uh, replacing him, and he's getting a second chance at this tournament. So Let's see if he's going to he take makes, advantage of that yeah, second chance. Yeah, hope he makes the most of it. Yeah. But uh, he fought, a, I remember, you know, that, that fight, he fought a good fight. Held, held his own. Yeah. Uh, I remember Sergio coming strong, you know, going strong in the beginning, but he, but he uh, but Zhang, Zhang Wenji came towards the end. Uh, he came out strong and decided to come back. Yep. See, see how he is today. So hopefully he can use his second win to slip into the final round. 
and we'll see like we said before the winner of this fight goes on to the, the eight man finals yep. and then for the championship so one of, one of, one of these fighters could be possibly the champion of the top kick world series yeah. so once you're 16 once you've made it to the finals it's all up for grabs yes he does have, you know, he has a couple, Zhang has a couple of championships. He has a tournament championship in China, a Wuhan Zongtai tournament champion. So he's, uh, he's fought extensively within China. So now he's just trying to make his uh, experience debut out abroad, yeah, he's, yeah, exactly. internationally. He's, uh, yeah. he's trying to build, build experience. He's still only 21 years old. Yeah, so very young. So he's still trying to build experience and, uh, and uh, build those bones, you know. Yeah. Fighters doing the right to So let's talk about the uh, rising numbers of Chinese fighters. Yeah, a I bit mean, more. just just from uh, the, these tournaments that we covered, we covered uh, the Top King tournaments. Mm -hmm. All, a lot of these Chinese fighters, uh, they 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 look they fight like Muay Thai fighters. And talk about this before in the beginning, they, they you know it's more kung fu and karate yeah. fighters, yeah. kung fu and fighters coming in, wushu fighters coming yeah. in. But now they, they're actually Muay Thai fighters <laughs> out of China. Yeah. You can still see it in their style. Yeah, you can you see know? it in their style. You know, they're looking more and more natural. You know, the kicking and style is more and more natural. So it's, uh, it's, it's uh, exciting and it's uh, interesting to see how, how fast they've grown and to see how much they're going to grow, you know. Yep. And who knows, in a couple of years, we're going to have like a world Muay Thai, cha Thai champion out of China. Who knows? That know. would be something. That would be interesting, you know. Like Bo Kao fights in China a lot also. Yeah. You know, yeah. He gets a lot, lot of fights. You know. It's growing rapidly, the yeah. sport in, in, in China. Yeah. Ready to see the first yeah. round, one of the young Chinese prospects. And here we go, first round. Oh. Oh. Young and quick. Yeah. Hey, 21 years old. Oh. The arrogant. Dance. The arrogant. <laughs> That's a I don't know. Let's <laughs> <Yeah. I don't laughs> see how arrogant is. You have to be a reason to have a reason to be arrogant. Right? <laughs> you have to earn your nickname. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe here. Maybe have reason. Oh! Referees separating them. Nice teeth from Oh, and a big right hook from Zhang. Yeah, that was a nice punch. Zhang's been quite aggressive. Yeah. I think he kind of, uh, it felt good to him, so. Whoa. Oh, hey, no. With a midsection kicks there, two yeah. in a row. Well, that's be turning the favorite. Uh, what? Big team. Flying knee, uh, kind of. Ruslan, very aggressive here. Yeah, both fighters trading. Yeah. Nice knee by Ruslan. Zhang is better for the boxing punch. Yeah, he's trying to, he seems like he's trying to get this knockout. Oh. Punch, he's going for those haymakers. Yeah, he's looking for those haymakers. Kind of could be dangerous yeah. though. If you don't land them. Not it, could, only it could be a sign of you know, yeah. youth and inexperience. Yeah. It could just be his strategy. You never know. So some fighters like to come out and finish straight, but some fighters just kind of have an experience. You know. Ruslan's look like he's using a lot of everything. Here. Yeah, uh, so far, uh, Zhang's been a little one-dimensional. He's yeah. trying to one-two punch. <laughs> but that was a solid right to do there. Yeah. left kick there. <laughs> Ruslan would be more comfortable. Ooh, nice. Solid punch there, too. 
left kick there to his stomach. Right kick goes in. Another kick to the same spot there for Roslin. And that's the end of the first round. And we are back and getting ready for the second round between Zhang Guangji and Ruslan Ateo. So far, I think the first round is, uh, I think on uh, Ruslan's, Ruslan's advantage here. Yeah. But uh, it's still uh, that one right hand by the arrogant Zhang. I think that, that was kind of rocked him. Yeah, rocked him a little bit. But I think that snuck a little bit after that. Pretty much yeah, right. yeah, that. It's still a little uh, one dimensional with the one two punches. but. Let's see if he comes out with some more, some more moves, some more tricks up his sleeve. Yep. Let's see, round two. Here we go. Yeah, he comes, there he comes again attacking. Him. Little, uh, his movements are a little odd though. Yeah. A little jittery. A little jittery. Yeah. Oh, but, he's still, but he has the crowd behind him. That, that's important. Yeah. The energy of the crowd. I think it might take a little more against Yes, you know. The hands you know, are coming. Rocked him there. I saw. Oh. Wilson got a little rocked there. I, I think it was it looked like a left, right? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like uh, Zhang here is more of a boxing type. So yes. and he's got a lot of heart. Yeah. That, that I saw. I saw a little shakiness there. Ooh. Be careful though. Yeah, you gotta be careful. They land. They're quick. Yeah. Those, those fists are pretty quick. Yeah. Fists of lightning. Yeah. The arrogant fists. <laughs> Yeah. Get the air maybe maybe he needs to calm his nerves down a little bit yeah. and then add more precision to those. Yeah, you know, I, I might maybe I'll take it back, even though he only has a one-two, but if that one-two lands, yeah, yeah, keep right. using it. <laughs> oh, it works, don't oh, nice left hook and left kick by Ruslan. Yeah, Ruslan is looking good. Yeah. Well, he is there. Oh, elbow, elbow. Not landing there. Almost. Oh! And the elbow, I think it did land. Did that one land? Yeah, yeah. barely. Uh, not clean, but it landed. Another elbow. But, uh, oh. He was in landing some nice shots, but he, yeah. he has to be careful. He's kind of like falling he's kind into. Of open. He's yeah. kind of falling yeah. into Zhang's game. Yeah. Of, like, sloppiness. Yeah. That's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. That can wear you yeah. out. And then boom, that, that haymaker yeah, just come exactly. out of nowhere. Yeah, that's why, that's why he's sneaking into his haymaker, because he's just falling into his trap. He just keeps calm, keeps his guard up. Yeah. It looks like I think you know, Zhang will like, run out of gas. Yeah. Yeah. If, if he doesn't keep his yeah. composure, he runs out of gas yeah. first. Russell needs to be careful here. Yeah. Because it looks like Zhang is slowing down now. Yeah. Oh! Zhang's taking some shots now, too, from Ruzan. Oh! And trading here. You think, you think this is going to go the three rounds? What's your guess? I think What's it will. I think it, it could be in the third round, or it could end in the third round. Yeah, I'd like to see Zhang uh, for another hitmaker. Yeah, but I mean, he needs to focus, more, like, calm down a little bit more, I think. Yeah. It's kind of but a he doesn't, he, you know, he has a quite a strong right, though. But yeah. His rights, the rock, you know, that rocked uh, Ruzan. We'll see time. more of that. Both fighters and Orthodox. Oh, see, nice. And a nice kick by Ruzan. Return, yeah, kick. Ruzan. An uppercut for Ruslan and a and knee. A nice knee. Yeah. Oh, and an elbow. Okay. Ruslan with the knee. Yeah, the round winding down. He's trading blows right now. Yeah. And that's it. Into the second round. Action pack. Not bad here. Like more arrogant. No, no. <laughs> I don't think Russell's more arrogant either, but I think both. I, don't, I definitely think uh, uh, Zhang's the more of the maniac. Definitely. Yeah. 
This is some of those punches. Let's see what happens in the third round. There we go. It could be Final anybody's round. fight still. Yep. Uh, Ruzan's coming out a little more composed. Huh? I'm keeping his guard up here. I think uh, Zhang's got to be more of the attack right now. Zhang can take some shots, though. He's got a solid chin. Yeah. Those are some stiff shots by uh, Ruzan. Crowd cheering for yeah. Zhang. Oh, one time favorite. Trading, here we go. Those fighters trading. It looks like Ruzan's having the a crowd trying to cheer him on. Yeah. And I'm just, you know, he's just walking forward. Yeah. But he's still, like you say, he's still one dimensional all yeah. throughout the fight here. Yeah. It's just boxer. And now he needs to use yeah. it. If he's going to do it, he's got to use by it. Ruzan. Yep. Ruslan's good, just holding him oh. at bay. Oh, Ruzan nice. With Rocked nice him. Right. Oh, him oh the knee. elbow. And the knees and the elbows combination. Here we go for Ruslan. Zhang looks hurt. Oh, hurt. yeah, he's dazed there. Ruslan's going to town now. He's, yeah. He knows it. Oh. oh. Right against the camera. But not, Zhang's not going down, though. He's strong. He's yeah. strong. He's solid. He's yeah, and I think uh, yeah. Ruslan's getting tired from yeah. all that. Crowd's cheering Zhang on. Don't go down. Yeah, <laughs> stay up. <laughs> Ruslan, where, I think he winded himself out there. Yeah. Trying he to go for it. Winded him out, punching him. But, I mean, Zhang finish. is strong. I mean, he's yeah. taking he's yeah. just taking shots. He just likes experience, I think. Yeah. He's, just, he's got a good condition. He's, take, he's taking some shots. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, Ruslan would have finished. Yeah. Trying to finish him. He might go the distance. Well, wouldn't let him finish. I, yeah. Give him props for not going down there. That's heart. Yeah. Like I said, these Chinese fighters got a lot of heart. Yeah. And he's still he's going still for him. Back yeah. yeah. Come on. He's just got to be careful. He's like the underdog now. I'm rooting for him now. I want to see him do well. Ruslan's holding his. Oh, nice. The jumping teeth. Okay. Yeah, Ruslan's using a lot of weapons here. Mm -hmm. Knees, elbows. Ruslan looks tired, too. Tired. Very, uh, needs to work on the conditioning. Crowd oh! Cheering, crowd cheering Zhang on. See, Zhang's got the energy. Yeah. He can do it, if, uh, but he just needs to find crowd that hole. cheering him on. Yeah. Both fighters breathing heavy. Yeah. Final round winding down. Crowd cheering. Yeah, can hear the crowd yelling. Zang, oh, yeah. Zang, Zang. Now we're never for Zhang. Let's do it. <laughs> Trading blows. And that is it. Oh, oh Zhang goes down. I think he tripped. Yeah, maybe he's just really tired. He just went down and exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Zhang, Zhang looks quite he's tired. He's exhausted. Wow. I think he, he heard gave, the bell and he just he gave He gave up. everything he had. Mad heart yeah. for Zhang Guangzi. And also, great job for Ruslan as well. Yeah, well, let's wait and see who, who takes the fight. Yeah, I think uh, I think we might know. But let's see know, the let's official see. word here. I don't know. Uh, Zhang Whoa. came in strong towards the end. You never know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zhang's also landing some punches. Trade. Oh. เอาละครับโอ้ก็ว่ามวยโคเน่นะฮะสุดยอดทีเดียวนะครับแล้วก็วันนี้นี่โอ้โหคนจีนที่อยู่ในสนามแห่งนี้เรียกว่าสุดย